Hey, everybody, we're back. Just don't say anything for a minute. I have to concentrate for 30 <laughs> seconds. Holy I can crap. see you're winding up for something. Holy crap. <laughs> Welcome back to On the Rocks. We're here once again in Indianapolis. And it's, it's been too long for this pandemic for most of us. And so we're here tonight and um, we've taken our masks off and we've kind of thrown the virtual out the window and we're sitting together um, drinking whiskey and talking photography. And we're glad that you had a chance to stop in and uh, spend a little bit of time with us. Uh, I hope that I can honestly say that you won't be disappointed. Uh, depends on how these two behave, and <laughs> I, I, I don't care. You know. Okay. <laughs> so with me tonight is Phil Gibson, as always, wearing the Phil Gibson shirt. Um, by the way, that'll be available in our store. <laughs> If you want to be like Phil, you can buy a Phil Gibson shirt. Oh, and right. with us also is uh, Johnny Grover, and uh, he's got the Photo PXL shirt on, and that is available in the store yes, today. It is. If Kiss you want to, <laughs> it's very soft. It is a really soft shirt. It's quite nice, quite comfortable. Recommend you buy at least two. But anyway, we're here and we're just about to have some fun again. And you know, it's it's been a rough year for a lot of us, emotionally, physically. Um, you know, health-wise and everything else, but we're beginning to come out of this this pandemic. Um, as I always say, and I'll say it again, it's like be, being in the tunnel and seeing the light, and it's not the train coming at us. What we're going to talk a little bit about today. One of the things that has been going on during the pandemic is uh, a lot of movement in the camera industry, and um, you know, there's a lot going on. But we're going to focus specifically uh, tonight, uh, if we can, um, and probably more of Phil's expertise is where. Uh, Canon is and what's going on with the mirrorless market. Phil, tell us a little bit about Canon. Um, a year or two years ago, they released their first mirrorless camera and they got banged mm -hmm. up pretty bad for it, having only one card slot and yeah. you know not really having the glass and all the things that went with it. But it seems like all of a sudden, you know, there's been an explosion from Canon and um, obviously they've been putting a lot of research into it and they've answered the the needs for yeah. many. Yeah, so, put out a lot of glass for one thing. And the cameras, they've updated. I mean, when the R came out, it was, you know, kind of a joke to a lot of people, including me. I'm like, well, this thing's just not there. But they, they did a lot of updates to it and they really cleaned that camera up quite a bit. And then they came out with the R6 and the R5. Well, you're not even mentioning the RP. Well, I'm trying not to. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the RP is okay for a still camera, but you know. Okay. It's, so, it's, what is the R? So you got R6, and is it a two or a one? I mean, explain a little bit about what the different models are and, and who they're for. So you got the R6 and the R5. So the R6 is a 20 megapixel camera, which is what I have here. And then you've got the R5, which is a 45 megapixel plus camera. Um, but what they really did, it's not just the megapixels. They, the tracking autofocus, the speed of it. Is phenomenal. I mean, they really, they really hit it out of the park. They really got it right. They got the eye tracking right, and they started coming out with glass quickly. Um, that really brought it up to snuff. Uh, really to compete with what Sony had, and Sony's been around for years. Um, so they they really bridged the gap quickly with and a larger mount that gives them a little edge on right. Sony because they can take better advantage Which of the Nikon light. also has Canon and Nikon, and we've talked about this in other installments that, you know, they went with this larger mount, which really makes a big difference because you can get that rear element closer to the sensor and you can do a lot more stuff. I mean, you can, we didn't even know what they're gonna do, which is which is what's cool. It's like, what's coming? They're, they're gonna be able to eclipse what Sony is doing, especially on the wide side of things because of the way that they've designed that mount to the sensor, which is gonna be really cool. And, and they just keep coming out with glass like crazy. So um, tell us a little bit about the glass. I know they, they've come out with two, like, 
interesting telephoto lenses, which seem yeah, to be so, really narrow and thin. And so this is a 600 millimeter f11. And when they announced it, I remember sitting in Meredith's office when the guy walked us through this thing, and I'm laughing to myself like 600, f11. 800 f11. Or are you guys kidding me? I mean, f11. This, yeah, f11. 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 Like so that, that's the fuel you know, lease building. So they were, they were talking all proud about this thing. Like I'm like really? Because I'm thinking of the 500 f f8s. I'm thinking of these old mirror lenses that were just really they were for shit. I mean they they were okay, but they weren't sharp, and they were never sharp. And there was no way the autofocus was going to work. I mean at f11, are you kidding me? But they knew what they were doing. I mean the new R6 and the R5 in low light, even with this lens, the autofocus is really fast. I mean, I was blown away by it. I took a shot of the moon with the, the 800 F11, which is the one that I currently don't have. I just have the 600, which it looks really similar. The 800 is just a little bit bigger, but the autofocus grabbed it like that. I mean, I, was, I, I couldn't believe it because normally you would think F11, <laughs> you can't focus in the dark with that. There's no way. Well, even in the daylight, you're going to have to boost up right, your ISO right. to get any kind of speed shooting exactly. birds or something. What's the noise like and everything with these cameras? It's really unbelievable. I mean, that that's one big draw with the R6. It's 20 megapixels, so a lot of people are like, well, it's only 20 megapixels. Well, but the dynamic range on the camera is so good in low light. So, excuse me, how large could you print a 20 megapixel image, Mr. Printer? Oh, I can go to 30 by 40. <laughs> 30 by 40. On, yeah, yeah, who prints bigger on... than 40 by 30? Well, 1722 is probably the normal. Yeah, 13, so that's, 19, that's perfectly legit. Yeah, yeah and the resolving that. power out of it. I mean, I went from Olympus, which is 20 megapixels with a micro four thirds sensor. You go to 20 megapixels with a full frame sensor. You can crop well, quite a bit a more. A bit bigger. Yeah. So, right. we, we, we consider him a traitor, but <laughs> <laughs> he, can, well, he can do what he wants to do. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about you being a quitter. Oh, okay. okay. So we, we, we got them all in one bundle here. So um, speed-wise, frame-wise, uh, autofocus, autofocus. Let's concentrate on autofocus for a second. You know, Sony really took the cake with the, the A9 and now with the with the A1. Yeah. But even their A7 III and their A7 uh, S3 or all the different, I mean, the AF on on. The Sony cameras is something to behold. Yeah. Now they've even added um, bird detection eyes or yeah. something with the new yeah. A1. I can't wait to shoot birds. Don't yeah. need it. A uh, really wonderful dear friend of mine is shooting Sony now, uh, Jack. And uh, he told me, you know, the A92, it's not a matter of how many images are in focus at my X amount of frames per second. Jody... They're all in focus. It's the stickiest autofocus I've ever experienced. Yes. And that's huge. Yeah, it's pretty incredible. Yeah. To and see. That's, that's, that's how this thing is. We did a video on yeah. that with the 100 to 400 indoor Frisbee match. Yeah. I just couldn't believe it was picking up the eye. And when it didn't, it picked up the face and it went back to the eye. And That's just, the thing that blows me away. Yeah. The eye tracking focus mm -hmm. is just something. Uh -uh. I mean, I've never seen anything like it. And so, I'm sure the Sony's every bit as good, but I, I don't shoot Sony. No. But I mean, this thing tracks eye like it, it's just crazy. It was something it's they crazy. were criticized on early on with the, the first. Uh, you know, mirrorless cameras they came out well, with. Well, so. the R was horrible. And I mean, I panned that camera when it came out. I played with it. I'm like, this thing is just not ready. But they did updates to it, and they really perfected that camera. They Careful, really did Mary a lot Jane of stuff. loved that camera. What's that, the Canon R? The R. Yeah. Well, the, the R is a great camera, but it, it, it could not track eyes at all. No. It, it, it wasn't fast tracking. Yeah, we focus. bought it for landscape. Yeah, it was great. It was that's a great landscape what we that's, what we, that's what we used it for. It's got the same sensor as the 5D Mark IV. You know, it was a phenomenal sensor, but the focus was just, eh. But they updated that thing and really turned it into a camera. They really did. And then this thing has just gone the next level. And the stabilization is the other thing. They really it's updated the stabilization stuff. in it. And that was the thing on the Olympus that had me sold every day was how good the stabilization is. And they've really copied that a lot in this R6. So what do you, what do you stop wise for stabilization on this? Camera? I don't know exactly what it is. What do you honestly. think? I mean, you give it a five stop? Probably five stops. Yeah. 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 Well, that's pretty amazing. So yeah. Canon seems to have a, they seem to be going, you know, gun ho. What, what, they, what they else really are you have. expecting from them? What are you hearing in the rumor side of things? I don't know. They got to come up with something to go against the Sony Alpha. I'm sure that's coming. Yeah, it, you want. It's, it's, Olymp it's Olympics. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, can I mean, in an Olympics. I, mean, it's I can't imagine like they don't this. have something. They're going to have an R one at the Olympics. I'll wager you money. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm sure they will. It's going to compete to that because they've been so big there, yeah. and yeah. you know, with the pros going mirrorless this day, these days. And are you seeing a lot of DSLR pros move from the DSLR to the mirrorless? More and more every day. There was a big influxation. If that's the, is that a word? Sure, no, why not? no influxation. It's not, no, it's why not, not a word. <laughs> okay, but there is a big influx. Actually, influ, uh, influxation. There was a big movement. Like if you can get seven people to use that word, Mary yeah, Webster right. will add it to the dictionary. <laughs> That'll work, won't it? That's it doesn't probably, take much. That's how. Let me put it right. in more simpler terms. Since I'm not, let me ask you a question. <laughs> So there was a lot of people moving from Nikon and, and Canon mm -hmm. over to Sony because, sure. especially with the A9. Lots, yeah. And it's interesting, you know, I, I kind of watch all the news going on, and yeah. you know, now specifically when you see the White House press conferences or you see these events where there's other photographers, you know, there's a lot of Sony gear floating it's a lot around. Of quieter there. now let, when they do a let, shoot. Let me tell you, their consultant, Bill Pekela, did a very good job with their. Sony Professional Services, and they are doing a very good job. Is Pekela paying you? This is like the third time you've mentioned his uh, name. I just, Bill's a friend. <laughs> hey, Bill. They are, they are, they are helping people. They are aggressive. They are being high-end service, personal service. You are pro, you want to move, let us help you. They are, yeah. they're on it yeah, they're, every way. And they're everywhere these days. They're very just helpful like NPS on and it. CPS and, yeah. Yeah. You know. They have been really aggressive. I mean, they moved AP over. Which it's has important been huge. for us because yeah. we have to deal with every one of their pro reps because Roberts is such an, a national company, and every one of them is willing to help and service. Yeah. They're just they're doing a great job. Yeah, yeah. they they seem passionate. They really about have, it. I mean, yeah. I go to a lot of their especially press ours in our territory. Amanda, yes, <laughs> I'm gonna call out to Amanda. <laughs> um, Nikon, where where do we we see Nikon squeezing in? They they put they out some got great cameras. They They've have got, some R7. What is, what are the their Z62 and the Z72? So Z72. Phenomenal cameras. Yeah. The Z7, uh, I have dear dear friends that are Nikon shooters that say the Z7 is the best file Nikon's ever produced. It's a fantastic file. But they need to get a couple of really solid pro bodies out there. Yeah. yeah. They need it. I mean, that's the issue. They that have glass. They're getting to more glass. They, they need there. they need a couple of what I call the 10-pin camera. They need to get a couple of mirrorless 10-pin cameras out there. And they just need to start shipping, period. I mean, that's the other is there, issue. Is there a problem with them shipping? I mean, uh, it's... Well, apparently. I hear they're, they're moving manufacturing from Japan to... I know. They're, they're, they're the odd man out as far as shipping. Well, Panasonic, too. They're, they're not shipping much. But, I mean... Nikon's just not shipping much in the way of cameras. I don't know what that's about. Hopefully they're gonna fix that. They got new, what is it, April 1 is their new year for fiscal. Maybe the, maybe they're waiting on that. I, I don't know. Do, do um, you see camera brand loyalty uh, as something that's really big these not days? Not like it used to be. So there's a not lot like of trends. Be. I would call it influxation, mm -hmm. but that would be. I think Sony has changed all that, honestly. Yeah. I, well, Sony, I think Sony, Sony has been huge so huge for people to move to when Nikon and Canon were just missing the boat. No, no, that it's it's kind of killed a lot. And as far as millennials go, they they don't they don't they care. care. They don't care. They give a shit. Be. Canon yeah. took the care. first hit. Un peculiarly, Canon took the first hit because Sigma has an adapter that makes Canon lenses work seamlessly on Sony bodies. Yep. Yep. So a Canon shooter can buy a $200 item and try all the bodies they want and know if they like Sony or not. And that was huge. It was a big, huge. Lenses, but was huge. big deal. They still don't perform like the, the, the real lenses do. They don't. Pretty damn close. close. Except for video. For stills, though, they work fine. But for video, they don't track focus. But I mean, But you can learn people, and say, yeah, I like yeah. Sony. And then all of a sudden you move, yeah. you gravitate. Sigma's an interesting company. While we're talking camera bodies. No, they're not. They don't make micro four thirds. Screw them. <laughs> Did you hear me? Okay, good. We're clear. <laughs> Somebody's bitter. Wow. <laughs> Nothing like Terry hey, Ricky, you hear me? <laughs> Everybody will be like, you know, you can say what you want at this point. Actually, you can say what you want anytime. <laughs> anytime. <laughs> anytime. 
You're here. But, um, I, you know, Sigma, I've, I've met their CEO. He's a young guy and really trying to carry on in his father's footsteps. And uh, they've done a heck of a job looking out the last five or six years of you know, bringing out Amazing company. You know, some great hey, lenses yeah. at, at when, some good prices. When I was Canon, my 7D Mark II with the 120 300 Sigma, there's, I've got shots blow you away. Fantastic combination. Yeah. But I mean, with the, the art series and the sports series that they've done lately, I mean, their glasses are oh, really their, their art stuff. Their art primes art, yeah. are as, as good they're as anybody's. Yeah, I'll really put are. them up against Leica. In fact, isn't their 85 the highest rated lens I think so. ever? Yep. Yeah, an 85 is such an interesting yeah. one uh, to play yeah. with. I have an 85 um, Zeiss, stuff. and there's an 85 uh, Sony, which I think is really a nice lens. Yeah. Noisy, but no noisy in the sense of the motors in it. Yeah. Um, you know, it's it, it's a fun time there. So let's go off to a different format, Fuji. Okay. You know, now we we we'll talk about the Fuji medium format somewhere else along the line. So so excuse me. So where's Fuji? Our number one line is Canon, always has been. Second is Second Nikon. Is Nikon. Third, Third is, is Sony. Sony. So is Olympus or Fuji next? Uh, you know what? I really don't know. It's a good. It's question. It's interesting to me because everyone worried about Olympus. Everyone's worried about Olympus, but I think Fuji is a smaller market than Olympus. I don't know. I, I, there are so many people that. Well, let's put it this way. One of the things about a Fuji is people are loyal to. They're Fuji. very loyal to Fuji. You know, we were yeah. talking about the loyalty jumping around. You know, there are people that like that APS-C format because yeah. it's just me. perfect. I, it's a great format. So you know, and <laughs> you know, Fuji, I call it APS-C full full frame. <laughs> Here well, we I, go. You always Here we go. Up, <laughs> you muck up everything. <laughs> But okay, to Jody, it's a full frame, you know, Fuji camera. To the rest of us, we will kind of say it's APS-C. But they have know, a they, very loyal following. There's, a very there's loyal no following. Yeah. Um, the XT4 is there's something a, about the color on the Fuji yeah. that you know. And they have they the built-in film simulations, yep. which are there. Um, uh, they're a different bear pattern, at least on the X series. Yep. The um, GFX, uh, I guess, they've gone to a normal bear pattern. So it's easier to adapt uh, the pro processing. Capture One and Lightroom have done pretty good with the, the X series. But, you know, I had the X-T4. I had the X-Pro3. Um, I thought that was a failure, in my opinion. I completely agree. You know, it was... It's bizarre. It, that it, camera it, what no we're sense. talking about with the X-Pro3 is they, they basically said, oh, you know, this is for the street guy, and we want them to concentrate on their photography. So we're not going to let them see the rear screen yeah. unless they pull it down, which is like the oddest I thing. I think they mess. had 7,000 extra bodies they made of this for some reason. <laughs> and they had to get rid of them. Oh, I, I, you know, and I was really optimistic. Swing said, and well, a miss. This, this could be yeah. where it was. But then again, you know, I could understand the shooting, but you know, there's a lot of times, especially as a street shooter, that I like to have that screen and I might be standing at the corner waiting for that right person to walk you know, through a light or a shadow or something, and I don't really want them to be conscious. That's sort of deceptive. Well, street photography is all about deception. It's very I didn't magic. know that about you. No? Yeah. Okay. So, but hmm. I, I tried to, I, I had to give it a pass, and yeah. our, our review on that is coming out um, in the next it's week It's not or so. done well, I can no, tell you it's, that. No, it's, yeah. I think there are a lot of people disappointed with it, yeah. and, you know, I... Well, I had the X Pro Three. I said, oh, "I'm going to really try really hard to like this camera." Yeah. And there was parts I liked. The image quality, everything was fine. And but you know, I go to use the Q menu a lot, which is their form of you know the quick menu where you right. can do some quick settings. Right. And you you know, I can't do it in the viewfinder. I'm sorry, I can't yeah. go in the viewfinder and try to find. Well, that's the, the whole problem with that camera. Yeah. It's so, just not laid out well. No, yeah. and and yeah. I think the XT4 has a marvelous screen because the screen, you know, you can flip it around so you can't see the screen or you can flip it out so you can. And then you can also flip it around so yeah. you can actually use it it's as It's all about uh, the X-T4. Like every other camera. Yeah. Well, and the X-100. Yeah. I mean, the X-100V or whatever. Oh, the X-100V I yeah. love. It's phenomenal. Oh, that, that lens is so sharp. Yeah. So what do you, anybody else have anything to add about cameras we haven't thought about here? You know, we, got the, we got the Olympus, we got the Fuji, Nikon, Canon. Oh. I think I saw yesterday on Facebook, I don't know if it was a joke or real, I think I saw a Daniel Craig version of a Leica. Yeah. <laughs> I might have well, been just a joke. First I off, I, I have a lot of respect for them. Andrew, and yeah. Andreas, Dr. Andreas Kaufman, who is the, the guy that saved Leica, I, I did a, a super interview with him and become friends. He's invited me over there a couple times and... You know, they've got a great uh, camera company as far they as know uh, what facilities go, yeah. uh, manufacturing, yeah. loyalty to the hilt. With like those none of that, that's what they count on. 
Yeah. They know what not they're going to... Not only you know, yeah. employee-wise, but customer-wise. Right. I right. talked yeah. to my rep one time, Ricky, and we talked about, uh, hey, this is crazy. I can't get cameras. Isn't that inventory? I was told that, this was several years ago, I was told that every projected delivery into the United States is pre-sold. There's The warehouse is empty. Yeah. I said, well, how can they do business like that? And my answer was, they're a public-traded company and they're giving money to their investors every single year, why would they change that when everyone's doing well? And I said, okay, well, that makes sense then. And, you know, they have boutique stores. Right. And they, they do well. I mean, and, they, and exactly they well. in the places like Miami Beach and places yeah. where, you know, you, you, and of course you go in there and everybody's got coat and ties on. I mean, yeah. it's like a whole different kind of like. Right. I took a 90 to 280 in on trade today. You did? Just in case you <laughs> just out of the clear blue that popped up. <laughs> okay, see what we have to work with. Talent is really hard to come by here in Indianapolis. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, so the, but like it's going to keep you know they're just they're going to just cruise and do mm -hmm. what their thing is. Um, you know, phase one. Panasonic you know, is a a a, 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 a a something I don't understand. I, I in my department. We just don't get our heads around it as to how to sell it. We don't. It's all about. I don't think my department has sold a Panasonic camera, and I don't well, know how. It's all about yeah. video. With yeah, those it's a video, guys. and it's all about the Micro Four Thirds. They need and, to and get YouTube. rid of this full frame nonsense. I mean, it doesn't make any sense for them. It's the GH GH Five, and everyone has been waiting for the GH. Now, how old is GH Five now? It's no. several years old. Yeah, several now. years, but it's, it's reliable. Three, three, four, and, and maybe it does five years video. old. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's reliable, but I mean, the GH6 with whatever they're going to do, I mean, they've got loyal customers that are waiting on that camera yep. and they just haven't done anything with it because they think full frame is where they need to be and it's not where they need to be. They're just not selling. Which personally yeah, for me camera. is important because I want Micro Four Thirds to succeed right. so that Sigma will make lenses. <laughs> whatever happened to that alliance between... You know, Kodak, like, Fuji, yeah, no, or I'm sorry, Kodak, Leica, right? Yeah, Leica, Panasonic, Sigma. Olympus, Sigma, right? They're yeah, still there. Yeah, Sigma's much, making well, They're going to be doing a full frame. And I just read, too, just the other day, that the whole Foveon thing has pretty much been scrapped and they have to start all over again. I hope so. And it's because you just <laughs> you just can't make the lenses. I mean, the lenses have to focus at but, different yeah. planes. But, but I have an Foveon FP ship. shirt. A what? <laughs> I have a Sigma FP shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> There were people that swore up and down that they love that FP camera, and it was like it's the weirdest. Oh, it's camera. like getting drilled by the dentist without Novocaine. Every yeah. time I, I love that. Yeah. No, oh, yeah. I love that. <laughs> you want like, getting drilled I, by no, the dentist? No, I do. <laughs> I asked hard. my dentist. I love that. It's a hard camera to work. Yeah, it, it was, really and is. and the software was was really, really, really tough yeah. and painful. What I don't understand is why Canon and Nikon don't have well. Nikon's starting, don't have good mirrorless, lower level, beginning level right. cameras. That's been my whole issue. Where are they? Right. I think they, they, why they did this can. last Christmas did they, they, they miss sell the market. Did they sell DSLRs instead of a brand right. new, super exciting exactly. fifteen hundred dollar I mean, they these should be just I mean the Z fifty is the bottom. Yeah, right? but, but they need to couple it with a lens that's compelling other than a plasticky lens. Yeah, they, 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 they need, need to they, they need to get rid of the just, just right. come come on right. guys. Right. Let's bring it out. That's been my whole issue. I don't When's know the last why time Sony get... had a DSLR low-end right. camera? When they, was the last they time? Don't. They, don't. they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. That was never where they wanted to right. be. There was right. very clear. I think it's a model. huge market that everybody's missing. No. Well, it could I be, know. and you know, know. Um, but I guess they are all trying to figure out where that balance is by the time they develop a camera with the way the the, yeah. the holiday season going. next year. Now, the holiday season concerns me because in the next six uh, there's six weeks in the spring where there's more holidays than there are in December, but it's not called the holiday season. I have a problem with the United States Christian holiday season. Here we go. There are more holidays. We don't have time for this. Okay, one. I'm sorry. All we'll right. be right back after Skip station that. identification. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a... Uh, I mean, Easter enough. and Pesach are more important than Christmas and Hanukkah. Oh, my God. Well, maybe to you. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but not for gift giving and, you know, buying cameras. Oh, it's consumer. I forgot. Right, my bad. Right. My bad. Thanks once again for joining us for Photo PXL. There's still a number of topics we want to cover, and we're going to get to doing these more uh, frequently, I hope. Um, Phil's yeah. sh shirt is going to be ready at any time. I guess it'll be here every time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's Phil's shirt. <laughs> I don't but, think you should wash it again. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think you should. Phil. I think I will. <laughs> Phil's shirt's just going to walk in by itself. Anyway, everybody, thank you very much for being part of this. Phil. Thank you, Jody. Jody even though it you. might You're be the your last show. Whatever. He's yeah, not going I'll never see you guys again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't believe it. Then again, you can always drop us a note if you want him to kind of go away. And we'll, we'll give oh, us. let's take a vote. Who wants me out? <laughs> we could we could out. never show without you. <laughs> Come on. Thank you, everybody. And be good. Be safe. Till next time. <laughs>